Oliver Twist is a novel by Charles Dickens, first published in 1837. It is one of Dickens's most famous works and has been the subject of numerous adaptations. The novel tells the story of Oliver Twist, an orphan who was born in a workhouse in an unnamed town. His mother dies shortly after his birth, and Oliver is raised under the harsh conditions of the workhouse system. As a young child, Oliver is sent to work for an undertaker, Mr. Sourberry. After being mistreated by the other apprentice, Noah Claypole, and the Sourberries, Oliver runs away to London, hoping for a better life. Upon arriving in London, he meets Jack Dawkins, also known as the Artful Dodger, who introduces him to an elderly criminal, Fagin. Unbeknownst to Oliver, Fagin is the leader of a gang of child thieves. Oliver is trained in the arts of pickpocketing and is taken out on his first job by the Dodger and another boy named Charlie Bates. However, Oliver is naive and, when the opportunity arises, he is horrified and fails to make the theft. The intended victim, Mr. Brownlow, sees Oliver running away and mistakenly assumes the boy is guilty. Nevertheless, Mr. Brownlow is struck by Oliver's innocent appearance and, after Oliver is apprehended, takes him home to care for him when he becomes ill. During his recovery at Mr. Brownlow's house, Oliver thrives under the kindness and care he receives. Mr. Brownlow and his housekeeper, Mrs. Bedwin, grow fond of the boy. All the while, Oliver is haunted by the fear that he will be dragged back into the criminal world he has just escaped. Indeed, Fagin is worried by Oliver's disappearance, fearing he will give away their criminal setup. Thus, he enlists the help of Bill Sykes, a brutal housebreaker, and his lover Nancy to recapture Oliver. Eventually, they succeed, and Oliver is brought back to Fagin. He is immediately put to work in a burglary job with Sykes. The burglary goes awry, and Oliver is shot during the escape. He is then cared for by the Maleys, the family from whom Sykes was attempting to steal. Meanwhile, Mr. Brownlow conducts his own search for Oliver, wishing to unravel the mystery of the boy's lineage. Through his investigations, he encounters Monks, a man revealed to be Oliver's half-brother. Monks is driven by jealousy and has been seeking to destroy Oliver to ensure he doesn't receive the inheritance meant for the two of them. Monks divulges this information to Mr. Brownlow in exchange for a portion of the inheritance and the promise that his crimes won't be exposed. At the same time, Nancy, who has grown fond of Oliver, finds herself in a moral dilemma. Despite her love for Sykes, she cannot bear to see the boy harmed. In an act of redemption, Nancy decides to meet with Mr. Brownlow and reveals the plot against Oliver, not knowing that she is being observed by a spy of Fagin's. Her betrayal, once discovered, seals her doom. Sykes kills Nancy in a rage when he learns of her treachery, which leads to his own accidental death while fleeing from an angry mob. Fagin and his gang are captured by the authorities. Fagin is sentenced to hang, while the other members of the gang face various ends. Some reform, some are transported, and some remain trapped in the criminal underworld. Oliver learns that his mother was Mr. Brownlow's friend's daughter, who had been seduced by monks and Brownlow's friend Edwin Leaford. This makes Oliver the lawful inheritor of a decent fortune. Mr. Brownlow adopts Oliver, and they, along with the Maleys and their household, retire to a peaceful life in the countryside. As for the other characters, the artful Dodger is eventually caught and sentenced, showing the grim realities of the juvenile justice system. With his capture, the tale of the pickpocket gang concludes. In the end, Oliver Twist is a story of crime and redemption, society's ills, and the power of kindness and morality to overcome them. Battles are fought between good and evil individuals, reflecting the complexities and challenges of life in the Victorian era. Oliver's journey from the workhouse to a life of happiness symbolizes the human capacity for survival and transformation despite adversity.